In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, for whose honor the Bishop St. Stanislaus fell beneath the swords of his persecutors, grant, we pray, that we may persevere strong in faith even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles When the officials had brought the apostles in to face the Sanhedrin, the high priest demanded an explanation. We gave you a formal warning, he said, not to preach in this name. And what have you done? You have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and seem determined to fix the guilt of this man's death on us. In reply, Peter and the apostles said, Obedience to God comes before obedience to men. It was the God of our ancestors who raised up Jesus, but it was you who had him executed by hanging on a tree. By his own right hand, God has now raised him up to be leader and savior, to give repentance and forgiveness of sins through him to Israel. We are witnesses to all this, we and the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. This so infuriated them that they wanted to put them to death. The Word of the Lord This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. The Lord turns his eyes to the just, and his ears to their appeal. They call, and the Lord hears, and rescues them in all their distress. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue him. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. Alleluia! Alleluia! Christ has risen. He who created all things and has granted his mercy to men. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist said to his disciples, He who comes from above is above all others. He who is born of the earth is earthly himself and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven bears witness to the things he has seen and heard, even if his testimony is not accepted. Though all who do accept his testimony are attesting the truthfulness of God, since he whom God has sent speaks God's own words, God gives him the Spirit without reserve. The Father loves the Son and has entrusted everything to him. Anyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, but anyone who refuses to believe in the Son will never see life, 
the anger of God stays on him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I had a conversation with a friend not so long ago. We talk about the people who have been instrumental in our faith journey. This friend told me that he was inspired by a Franciscan friar, not me. He was inspired by a Franciscan friar overseas. This friar, he said, is so holy. He is humble, very simple and understanding. My friend added that whenever he talked to this friar, he felt understood and assured that everything will be okay because God cares for us. This friar is a man of God. At the end of our conversation, my friend said that he wanted to introduce me to this friar. He said, when you meet him, you are going to like him very much. I am 100% sure that he will be your good friend too. Have you ever had this experience? When someone so passionately shared about someone else? I feel like the gospel today is talking about the same thing as my experience. Jesus, who is from above, came to us, speak to us in our earthly way, and he shared about God. Jesus speaks the truth about God as he had seen and heard. He testifies his unique, intimate, loving union with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Jesus became flesh and invites us to be part of this communion too. The question for each of us today is, how is my experience of God so far? Do we have a good experience as Christians that we want to passionately share to the world? Or has our experience been unpleasant? In the first reading, we heard the story of the high priest's rejection of Jesus. In their faith, they were so burdened by the law that they could not see the truth. They were not open to the love that Jesus offered for all of us. How about us? What is our experience on being Catholics? Have we been joyful Christians? Have we been the peacemakers in our communities? When we experience God, we will not be able to contain it. We will want to share it. We will be able to find peace even in the midst of struggles and difficulties that we face in our daily life. This is what John the Baptist is telling us. Jesus came from above and desired to bring us back to God. Jesus shows us what love is, what it means to be God's beloved children and heirs to the kingdom of God. Jesus testifies to us that despite of struggle and pain in our life, God is still with us. He showed us God's faithfulness. Jesus himself had to go through his passion and death, and God was always with him. Jesus defeated death, and our Easter celebration is the celebration that we are destined to have a victory too. Brothers and sisters, let us renew our faith in God. We ask for God's blessing that in every situation in our life, we may have the strength and courage to be His witness, to share our faith to the world, so that in the end, all God's children can testify that the Lord is good. As children of God, let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts. Rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord, grant, we pray, that we, who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son, may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.